It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. Travel west from Midtown Manhattan through the Lincoln Tunnel to the Jersey side. It's MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Set for a good matchup in one of the premier divisions in the NFL. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson with you. Greg, you never get a chance to really rebuild. Everyone wants you to win right now in this division. And they've been taking turns at the top of the division. 19 years since the Eagles repeated as division champ. Dallas won it last year. Who knows what we're in store for this season. It just shows how hard it is to win year in and year out consistently in the NFL. The league is set up for parity. It's set up for teams that were last in the division. They have just as good a shot to win it the next year. And I think this is a two-horse race. With Dallas, as you said, they won it last year. I think Philadelphia feels that this roster, this coaching staff coming back, has them in position to challenge Dallas. I think right now, New York and Washington find themselves on the bottom looking up, but I think the Eagles and the Cowboys, this could come all the way down to the end of the season. The Giants let out by their quarterback, Daniel Jones. Here he is. It's year six in the NFL. He was the sixth overall pick back in 2019 out of Duke, and Jones still at the helm for the Giants. Here's what you call a little bit of a polarizing player, Mike. His career has been a bit of a mixed bag after being a first-round pick a few years back. At times, he looks like a bona fide franchise quarterback. At others, he looks like a guy who's still trying to find his way and take that next step. It's the consistency. That's the biggest issue. If that changes, man, he'll finally be able to reach his full potential. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. The ability to generate explosive plays is the greatest correlation with the ability to score points. So every defense nowadays is trying to say, cannot let them throw the ball over our head. And what does that do? Gets you a little bit more depth in your drops. Makes it a little bit easier for some of these check down pickups. And then we stop at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. Shotgun now for Jones. Back to the rookie from LSU, Malik Neighbors. Good result there after the penalty. They get the yardage back and then some. How fast things can flip. You find yourself in first and a mile after taking a penalty on first down. But that chunk play there in the passing game now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down. Now, Jones. Throw left side, that's Johnson. He'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. He'll try and run for the first with single tackle. Set to go now on first and ten. On play action, it's Jones. He'll look deep here for Neighbors. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast and... Tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down.
Working from the gun, it's Jones. And this ball incomplete on third down. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. Now, following the punt return, we have an injured player on the field. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Dak going to put it up right away. A pass caught by the veteran. That's Brandon Cooks. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Prescott. Short throw, caught by Ferguson. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Now, man, back for a second go around with the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. They'll stick with Elliott. Room to run past midfield. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. I've always gone with the logic on the zone read, Mike, defensively, that you want to tackle the back. Make the quarterback keep it, because in this case, as you see, he gives the ball to his back with a hole. He can take it a long way. Set to go now on first and ten. Play action. It's Prescott. Open man. Downfield. It's C.D. Lamb. And he's in. C.D. Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. It's up and through. The Cowboys will take a 7-0 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this is fielded inside the five he's across the 20 taken down just shy of the 25 the Giants offense ready to possess the football for the second time they trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down
in motion, it's Robinson. They show Jet Sweep and instead run it up the middle. And he searches for, for a gain of about five. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. You don't need much. It is third and inches. Shotgun now for Jones. He's got his man complete to Johnson. So, from the 36, it is first and 10. Here's Jones. A short one there to Bellinger. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. Gun. They'll give it to Singletary. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. And the gun, it's Joe. A gain there of 11. That's good for a Giants first down. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are and get there and be friendly to the quarterback and if you're open stay open that's nfl route running that's what the best guys do it's been a busy first quarter for him so far his third catch goes for a first down shotgun now for joe and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Again, it's Jones. This one is caught by Robinson. It's a gain of 13, and it's first and goal. So as this nice drive continues, Mike, they find themselves first and goal. Offensively, anytime you maintain possession for this long, you have to come away with a touchdown. It feels to me you settle for a field goal. That's a win for the defense. Again, they'll throw with Jones. To the end zone, it's intercepted. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and say there's ever a good time to throw a red zone interception, but in this case, it's the first half. You have the rest of the game to get yourself back down here in the red zone and make up for that miscue because next time they get down here, they got to be a lot more careful when they decide to air it out. The Cowboys offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They lead it here early 7-0 as they start with a first and ten.
operating from the gun. Here's Dak. He's got the open man. That's Jalen Tolbert. And he'll be taken down up past the 40-yard line. We talk so much about starting fast and then trying to sustain that throughout the course of the game. That's exactly what they're doing here. They've got the early lead, but they're not content to just sit on the ball. They're looking to extend it. Nice start here to this drive. Once they cross midfield, then it goes into go mode. You're trying to come away with points every single time you have the ball. It's a good way to start this game here in the first quarter. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. The shotgun snap for Prescott. Over the middle to his tight end, Ferguson. And they finally catch up with him, but it's a big play, taking it into the red zone. Now, Mike, I'm not saying he's going to be able to maintain this pace for the entire game, but... Here we are in the first quarter, and he already has over 100 yards. If he does keep pace, he's going to have a ridiculous stat line by the end of the fourth quarter. But something tells me we're going to see a lot more chunk plays throughout the game unless this defense can somehow find a way to slow them down. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. In trouble, and down he goes. Brian Burns, the former Panther, in there for the sack. Brian Burns with the sack, and that's exactly the type of play the Giants envisioned when they traded for him from Carolina back in March. Only eight sacks a season ago, and the question was, was that production indicative of him as a player or more of his surroundings? But either way, he's picked up right where he left off, and he's one of the best pass rushers in the entire league. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. 7-0 is our score. More from MetLife Stadium after this. <laughs> Good drive so far, but this is a big hurt. It is third and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. That is pulled in at the foul. And he will have a first down but I don't think that's going to stand. They're already heading backwards. That's on Tyler Guyton. The first round pick out of Oklahoma. Task now a really tough one. Third and very long. From the shotgun, it's Dak. That is caught. And he's in. Jake Ferguson. Touchdown, Dallas. This kind of a feast or famine anytime a defensive coordinator dials up a man pressure. And when you don't get home, it just puts so much stress on your secondary, Mike. They feel like they're out there defending their man for an eternity, and the quarterback had his opportunity to find his matchup, good protection up front, and they just couldn't hold up in coverage long enough, and they give up a big touchdown. On for the PAT is Aubrey. It's up. And good. The Cowboys move out on top, 14 to nothing. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here comes a return from the five. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. 
Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit. 14-0 the score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. From the gun, it's Jones. Now here's another ball that's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he is going to bring this one back. A DB's dream. A pick six for touchdown. We saw it earlier. The defense on the quarterback with the earlier interception. And now, Greg, not only do they pick him, they turn it into a pick six. And, Mike, the reality is this has just been a bad first half throwing the football. I mean, not only is it a second interception, but this time the defense gets their hands on the ball and they're able to take it all the way back for the pick six. Now, Aubrey for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Cowboys will stake themselves to a 21 to nothing lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This will be returned from the six. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Giants' offense make their way out to take over once more. They find themselves down three touchdowns here, needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. Shotgun now for Jones. This one taken in by Hyatt. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On play action, it's Jones. Now he'll air this one out deep for Hyatt. That is not the way. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively. All over him. And it'll be second down. As this offense continues to put anything together and score some points, they need to just take a step back. Then it's okay. We've struggled here in the first half putting points on the scoreboard. Don't worry about chasing points. Let's chase first downs. Let's chase completions. Just start building something small. And oftentimes when you take that approach, it snowballs. And next thing you know, you find your groove. Here's third and two. Again, it's Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And after that last incompletion, it's really the story of the game. This offense has had a really hard time sustaining drives that can lead to points. You can sense the frustration, not only on the sideline, but really in the entire stadium. They've got to get something going, especially early in these drives, so they can find themselves in scoring position and come away with some points. Here's Dak Prescott and the Cowboy offense set to go again. They've opened up a big lead already, trying to put this one to bed, maybe before halftime. Another drive starts here with first and ten.
The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. So, as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. Here's second and three to go. A shotgun snap for Prescott. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield. But now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Third and short. Prescott. That is caught. Hooks gets the grab. A game there of 11. First down. Cowboys. I think the defender thought he had himself a pick here, Mike. He saw that curl coming the entire way, but unfortunately for him, it was a curl and go. They took him deep. Leads to a huge pickup. From the 34 now, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Dak. To the left side, caught by Lamb. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. This complete, it's Lamb again. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Yeah, Set to go now on first and 10. They'll throw again, Dak. The open man is Tolbert. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. And before the snap, we have a whistle. Uh, this could very well be a false step. Scott again. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Unfortunately, Mike, over my career, I've been in this guy's shoes plenty of times, probably more than I wish to admit. You take your eyes off the ball. You think about becoming a runner before securing the catch, and when you do that, you end up watching the ball fall to the ground. Is going to be followed up and taken down. They got him. Finally, this defense has been searching for a big play after giving up two touchdowns on the previous two drives. They're going to need more of that. They have to find more impactful plays that end drives and get the ball back to their offense. So on fourth down, here comes the veteran, Brian Anger. Amir Smith-Marset goes back to return it. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. Here's the Giants' offense. Now they get set to take over once more. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line. So a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and ten.
give it to Singletary to begin this drive. And he'll get to about the 15, and that's it. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Jones. Off balance throw, it's complete. And a good one here. He'll be marked down up past the 25 yard line. First and 10. Throwing Jones. This one taken in by Hyatt. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. On play action, it's Joe. No chance at all. He'll go down. In what's been a pretty one-sided affair from the opening whistle, it just seems like it continues to get worse. This defense, they know they have them on the edge, and they continue to rush the quarterback the way they are. I'm not sure what this offense can do come the second half. Here's a third and ten. From the gun, it's Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass went to be on target. No catch. And now fourth down. Dropping a catchable ball is one of the worst feelings. It feels like the entire stadium is laughing at you. And all I know is firsthand, you just want to get another opportunity to put that one behind you. A fair catch. He's going to call it and take it right around his own 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to take over possession of the football. They've opened up a big lead already, trying to put this one to bed maybe before halftime. Another drive starts here with first and ten. Going to start this on the ground with Elliott. And he finds some daylight up past the 35-yard line. A pickup of seven. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Completed right side to Ferguson. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Really nice job here by the quarterback. Not only getting outside the pocket, buying more time for his receivers, but then finding a man open who's able to pick up enough to move the chains. On first and ten, Prescott. That's into the hands of the veteran Cooks. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. On the give, it's Elliott. And he's not going to get away. They'll knock him back to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. Second and two. You're thinking, I got two downs to get two yards. How hard can that be? Well, against this defense, it turns out to be a big challenge. They take you back for a loss of two. And now you find yourself on third down. Third and short. Prescott. And that is incomplete. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb. And it's going to bring up fourth down. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. 
And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Giants offense ready to take over once more. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. They motion a receiver right. The drive starts with a carry by Singletary. And a good one here. He'll be marked down up past the 25-yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. Jones operating out of the pistol. Oh, the ball is out. And fortunately, this is going to get out of bounds, so possession does not change hands. A sigh of relief there. That was very nearly a turnover. Fortunate to see that one, Greg, get fumbled out of bounds. And when that ball came loose, Mike, you could see the entire sideline kind of holds their breath. But they were able to take a little bit of an exhale as they saw that ball, fortunately for them, go out of bounds. Shotgun now for Jones. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but... They seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down, have some more efficiency on these early downs, and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end. It's to the sideline, he's got neighbors. They'll come up now for second down and four. Again, they'll throw with Jones. And that is incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle. And this next play, it's got to be a gotta have it best play call. Into the hands of his receiver, Hyatt. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. And finally, we see this offense find a little bit of life here early in this first half. They've struggled to get anything going early on, but at least this play has them on the move. Now, can they finish this drive and finally put some points on the scoreboard here in the first half? So they come to the line for first down and 10. Jones to the air again. Now a screen to be set up for Singletary. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Again, it's Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, 
You've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Frankly, that's what this entire stadium is counting on. The biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? Deuces kick is good. And the Giants are on the board just before halftime. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Here's Dak Prescott and the Cowboy offense set to go again. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. Throw it here on first down. Back to the left side, he's got Ferguson. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. First and ten. From the shotgun, it's Dak. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Here's Dak, over the middle to his tight end, Ferguson. The tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Throw again, Dak. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Again, Prescott to the air. That's complete to Elliott. He will have the first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. And now his timeout. They're going to take it with eight seconds remaining until the break. For the field goal now, it's Brandon Auburn. This will be a 38-yard attempt. Aubrey's kick is good. And the Cowboys can tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half.
the clock showing five seconds remaining in this half as the kicks away this one will be taken in the end zone no run back forthcoming and the ball coming out to the 30 yard line the break the huddle coming up now for first and ten to throw is Jones he'll let it fly deep ball for Slayton that's gonna be incomplete they took a shot on the final play prayer not answered and that is how this first half will come to an end okay Mike thank you more from you and Greg in a moment but for now welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. He'll get across the 20, mark him down to the 23-yard line. The Cowboys offense and Dak Prescott set to take over again. Eddie has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Shotgun snap for Prescott. He'll let this go deep for Tolbert. And that is incomplete. How often do we see teams kind of nurse these big leads, Mike, especially as the game unfolds? They turn to the ground game. They try to slow everything down. Well, not this offense. They refuse to take their foot off the gas. They're still mining for explosive plays. And frankly, with the way today's gone, I don't blame them. On second down, it's Dak. The open man is Tolbert. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. But I think it's pretty clear what the halftime message was from the coach, Mike. He said, I want to come out in this second half and deliver an early blow. Come out swinging. Well, I think they've made that statement pretty clear here to start the third quarter. And if they can finish this drive off with a touchdown, I think they'll have done just that. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. Hand off here to Zeke. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. You know, anytime you're talking about an interior defensive lineman, it's always easy to talk about his size and his strength. But what stands out to me, Mike, is his ability to move his feet, turn those hips, get penetration in the backfield, and take the running back down for a loss. Second down, Prescott. In the middle of the field, it's taken by C.D. Lamb. He'll be brought down. It was a nice pickup, but a penalty flag on the play. Early indications of a hold. Tyler Smith, guilty on that one. On second down, it's Dak. Pass completed right out after the catch. He's hit, and the ball is out. And fortunately, this is going to get out of bounds, so possession does not change hands. Third and long. The shotgun snap for Prescott. 
They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You gotta see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. And that is no good. He missed it. And they are not able to add on to their big lead. They're just trying to extend the lead here, and this is definitely one they're going to want to have back. The Giants offense and Daniel Jones ready to get going once more. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. Here's first and ten. Now, Jones. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Try again, it's second and ten. To throw, it's Jones. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. Here's third and seven. Working from the gun, it's Jones. He'll get this into the hands of neighbors. It'll be a pickup of 10. That's good for a Giants first down. Here comes Singletary running right. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. It's not just the blockers creating yards for him out there. He created most of that yardage on his own, shrugging off the initial tackle attempt and continuing to rumble downfield. down is Jones. That's caught left side by Bellinger. Second and a yard. They'll run the toss play with Singletary. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. Now Jones on the bootleg. That one, take it in. Jalen Hyatt, touchdown, New York. Here's Greg Joseph for the extra point. It's up and good. And
and the Giants are able to cut into the deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Avante Turpin on the return. And that's well done by the kicking team. He's only able to make it past the 15-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to get back at it. As we look back at some of the highlights of this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming for the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and this is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Shotgun snap for Prescott. Pass completed right side to Ferguson. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. first down. That's to Ferguson once again. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. We'll come up now for second down and four. Now Elliott. And he is fortunate to get past the line of scrimmage. Call it a yard at most. Isaiah Simmons comes up to end that one. Third down. Three to go. Jack to throw. And on third down, that ball incomplete. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. Here, the ball is thrown short. The idea is get the ball in the hands of your playmaker and let him pick up the rest with his feet. But you know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete. Brings up the You know, more often than not in the NFL, games are won based on who wins critical downs. Well, that fourth down attempt right there was exactly that, and this defense came up huge for a big-time fourth down stop. The Giants offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. They'll begin with terrific starting field position. It gets going with first and ten. Jones. There's that man again. Another catch. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Now Singletary. And this will be a short pickup down to the 45. Demarcus Lawrence, they're on the stop. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. 
He'll try and run for the first with single tackle. A gain there of 10 yards. First down, Giants. And that's a heck of a run there on third and one. So often these backs, they're just thinking, all right, just get one yard, pick up the first down. But not this guy. He's thinking, I know where the marker is, but I'm going to pick up as many yards after that as I can. That's exactly what he does. Fresh set of downs. Play action now. It's Jones. That'll be caught by the running back, Singletary. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. They fake the handoff. Now Jones. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Throwing Jones. That's over the middle and taking it in. He's got it. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Now Jones on the bootleg. Throw left side. That's Johnson. He is in. Touchdown, Giants. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Giants back within seven. It's 24 to 17. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, here's Turpin. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here's Dak Prescott and the Cowboy offense set to go again. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they'll try to keep it going. the huddle coming up now for first and ten Prescott now this pass right side taken in by Cook that's a nice pickup on a first down throw it's a gain of eight here's second and two Shotgun snap for Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's Prescott. And they get to him and finally bring him down. It will go down as a sack. The key to this play here, Mike, 
is the anticipation of the snap. Watch how he's able to time the center. And when that ball moves, he hits it. Gets through into the backfield, and he brings the quarterback down before the receivers even got out of their breaks. The Cowboys get their special teams out on the field. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Giants offense running back Devin Singletary back on the field. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. The drive starts with a carry by Singletary. And they finally get him down. Good gain on the ground, but hold everything. Maybe a reason he got so free. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And for a third time today, he's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he's going to be taken down, but it's a quick change situation. He has set his offense up with first and goal. Well, I think by now, Mike, we know what the biggest mismatch of this game has been. This defense is all over this passing game. Everywhere they look, they have defenders in the right spot. They've resulted now in three interceptions, all while forcing this offense to try to adjust their game plan on the fly. The Cowboys offense back onto the field for their next possession, and they start in the best possible situation. It is first and goal. from the gun. Here's Dak. This one is pulled in on the feet inbounds. Yes! Jalen Tolbert. Touchdown Cowboys. Oh, the teamwork was just ideal there. Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. And when you have a wide receiver, Mike, that can operate near the sideline, it just increases the amount of space that quarterback has to work with. He knows that he can put that ball maybe a little bit further away from the defender, knowing he's got the guy on the other end to not only secure the catch, but to keep his feet in bounds for a touchdown. Aubrey, good with the extra point. And the Cowboys will extend this third quarter lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. Now return, coming from the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here's the Giants' offense. Now they get set to take over once more. This secondary will get a lot of the credit. Three picks so far. But, Greg, the pass rush has been relentless as well. Yeah, I think it's super important, Mike, that we point out just how much the pass rush and then the secondary coverage works together. The more that rush gets home, the faster that ball gets out. We can play certain coverages knowing the timing of the quarterback has to be sped up. So often, the teams that are the most successful in this league, Mike, they have the best understanding. When our back end and our front end are working in unison, 
Man, it puts a lot of pressure on not only the quarterback, but the entire offense. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. play action it's Jones and that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time but contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down we've already seen these two guys connect for a touchdown in this game and had they been on the same page there I think they would have been able to add to that total unfortunately for them just a little bit off and it falls incomplete throwing is Jones on third down and that is incomplete. Not exactly the type of drive to write home about, Mike. Three passes, three incompletions, no yards gained. And I really can't blame any of these fans who have continued to voice their frustration, especially after that last series of play calls. The Giants sending out their puncher. As he'll punch it away for the fourth time today. To return, it is Turpin. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Here's Dak Prescott and the Cowboy offense set to go again. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. Now they'll try to keep it going. From the 39, here's a first and 10. On play action. Here's Dak. His fullback releasing. And he's going to bring it in. Well, not exactly a highlight real type play, but in some cases, just checking the ball down to your fullback, picking up some positive yards, is the only play that's to be made. Here's second and nine. Elliott. And he'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So, three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This defense in desperate need of a stop, and here comes third down. On the play fake, Dak. Cowboys get their special teams out on the field as they try to play the field position game here protecting a fourth quarter lead that's going to be out of bounds no return and the drive is going to start from just inside the 20 yard line here's the Giants offense now they get set to take over once more they'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten Working from the gut. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. Micah Parsons, too tough to stop, gets in to bring him down. This is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback. As that pocket starts to collapse, the good ones, they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush. They don't need to see the rush. Here, his eyes go down. He starts moving around the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball, and... They bring him down for a sack. To throw, it's Jones. 
who outs another catch for his favorite target. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Now a screen can be set up to single tail. Give him 13 on that screen play. And a first down. Okay, so now you pick up that first down, Mike, but now there needs to be a sense of urgency. You know you need to score twice. So this one, ideally for the offense, results in a touchdown. But either way, this first score of the two needed needs to be fast because you need every possession you can here late in the fourth quarter. On first and ten, here's Jones. Well, right side taken in by Neighbors. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there. Early completion, but now they've got to get across midfield and go. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they got to get some defensive stops. Jones. Now a screen to be set up for single tail. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. The relationship between the back and the offensive lineman is now the key for the run after catch. You want to make sure those linemen don't get too far down the field where they can't help protect the back. So once the running back catches it, there's a go-go call. Now everyone knows it's time to go downfield. The running back falls in behind him, and that's the landmark of the screen play. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Shotgun now for Jones. Taken in right side by the tight end, Johnson. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Nice catch here by Theo Johnson, the young rookie tight end, and I really like his upside. I think he's kind of a long, rangy guy. He's got a great catch radius, and he can really get vertical downfield. One of only five FBS tight ends last year, Mike, with seven-plus touchdowns, so... I think the Giants have a chance here to develop him and give Daniel Jones another offensive weapon as they look to get this thing back on track. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And this throw out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. One of those plays where you like the idea, you just don't like the execution. I didn't feel the quarterback was overly comfortable in the pocket. Footwork, a little bit sloppy. All of a sudden now the pass is a little less accurate and an opportunity for a big shot. You end up falling short. Jones looking to throw on third and two. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. You can see the receiver. He's pleading his case to the reps. He's saying, man, I was in bounds. I was able to get both in. But from our perspective, Mike, I think it's pretty clear. He Brian Dable displeased with that one. And out comes the challenge play. They're looking both at the feet to see if two were down, but also whether or not he had full possession of the football when those feet were down. So the decision to challenge does not pan out and will 
also cost them a timeout. Trailing late, they've got to go here. It's fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Jones. And he will score. Game on. Jalen Tyatt. Touchdown, Giants. Two touchdowns for him now in the afternoon. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop? and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Giants will cut the deficit to seven. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Now return, coming from the seven. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Cowboys offense ready to take over possession of the football. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Shotgun snap for Prescott. They'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Zeke up the middle. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. The Giants offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. They've got great starting position with a short field as they try to get back in this one. It is first and ten. Shotgun now for Jones. That's taken in. What a catch by Neighbors. A pickup of 14 on that one. First down, Giants. Play action now. It's Jones. Over the middle, that's the tight end, Johnson. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. This is a great example of why teams want to stay out of what they call passing downs, where a defense doesn't have to honor the run. In this case, they do, 
And man, the play action pass just works off of that and can really lead to some chunk plays. And he can't get away. Down he goes, back to the 16. Remember what this defense told us in our meetings this week, Mike. They don't think that they're necessarily going to be able to just stifle this offense play after play. They might have to give a little bit of bend, but they can't break. That sack, that is the defense not breaking. Down there near your own goal line, come away with the big play and see if they can keep points off the board. They'll run. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. Back-to-back -back plays by this defense now, Mike, winning these early downs. They get the sack on first, the tackle for loss on second, and now it brings up third and long. They need one right now. Third and long. Working from the gun, it's Jones. He's got it inside the five. And he will score. His third touchdown of the second half. You know, Mike, at this level, not all touchdowns are created equal. There are some plays that result in touchdowns, and then there are touchdown strikes. And this one is the latter. I mean, you talk about a confidently thrown ball on the money downfield. It doesn't get a lot better than this, and his receiver is able to take it in for six. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good, and that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. This game all even now. Following that touchdown a moment ago, they'll look to retake the lead on this drive. It starts with first down. shotgun it's down that's into the hands of the veteran cooks that's a nice pickup on a first down throw it's a gain of eight here's second and two Gonna make the read and keep it himself. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. So, Mike, at the core of a successful zone replay is that the quarterback understands which defender is he responsible for. That is the defender they're trying to put in a bind. In this case, he chooses the runner. The quarterback pulls the ball, and he's able to take off for a big game. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. In the middle of the field, it's taken by C.D. Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it. Tie ball game, fourth quarter. The game is on the line. Everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going, and I can't blame it. This is first and ten. Cooks going in motion. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. A gain of four as he's taken down.
here comes second down. Here's Elliott. And he'll get this inside the 20. A nice run there in the red zone. It's first down. They face second down and seven. They'll stick to the ground. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yards. The crowd at MetLife on their feet for third down. Here's Elliott. So, pressure pick coming now for Brandon Aubrey. This to win the game. This kick is good. And it's celebration time. A walk-off victory on the game's final play. So it's a win here for the visiting Cowboys. They get themselves into field goal range for one final shot. Kicker delivers. They avoid overtime and come away with a three-point victory.